गुड इवनिंग एलिस फैमिली दिस इवनिंग वेल आई सिट हियर द संडे इज अबाउट टू फेड इन द वेस्टर्न हॉराइजन एंड आई एम मोली जोसेफ फ्रॉम द लेश ग्रीन केरला इट इज नाइस दिस मोमेंट सिटिंग एंड रिकैपिटुलेटिंग my visit to bhutan 2 years back even now those memories linger with a kind of sweetness like the pollen falling from the wings of the butterfly the flitting butterfly let me start with a few poems on bhutan the very morning of bhutan while i was sitting at breakfast with the other tourists looking out at the traffic that is flowing through the road munching the breakfast i was thumbing these lines here i share it with you the very first morning Morning in Bhutan The pines crested on mountains around watch alert while the mundane resumes in the morn in the peaceful soil of Bhutan School college buses ply with no haste picking up young chabi faced uniform trim future of bhutan life flows with inordinate ease as i watch the balanced flow of traffic carrying men and women out on work the tense load of the awaiting day not writ large on their face each smiling at each music fades mellow on my breakfast table they have left my pulse time to wind up tummy out to a new world out to a new world opening wide yes that is my first morning now the guide was there taking us it was at yang sharing the tourist guide with so much of vivacity taking us around telling us the 101 stories about each and everything we saw the beautiful landscape we saw the beautiful people there here is that poem bhutan asia blue skies resting on mountain tops snow capped streamlets silver lines drawn on slopes valley serene with similar roofed shelters no vying for architectural monstrosities traffic bare slow moving patient for the pedestrian people simple slow flowing with the flow hurry nowhere in their gait gesture ha happiness how it settles so smooth serene in your eight lakh human heads dear bhutan Yes there is a question it is a puzzle for me I wondered at their balanced way of looking at life and of course spirituality was there so much in those buddhist pagodas in those important religious places there were war memorials there were many many places to see but it was 
the great Buddha point that actually drew our full attention towards it. And it was a poem that I wrote transfixed before that great Buddha point where Buddha was watching over the horizons on mountain tops. Here is the poem. O oh Buddha, the enlightened, I bow before you, begging your grace, sparks of wisdom. Mountains on hilltop, on Bhutan heights, you watch over the slopes and tops where landlocked Life flows, human, not human. The ringing bells, honk clangs of the pagodas chant thy glory, punctuated by drum beats. You watch, guide and guard our paltry lives. We the worms squirming earth, tiny flecks in cosmic space. O oh Buddha, your all-seeing eye stretches far where the finite and the infinite merge. Closing eyes, I squat before you. My spark I get of time standing still. O oh Buddha, the enlightened, I bow before you, begging your grace, sparks of wisdom. Yes, days quickly flit across. One day, after our wanderings during daytime, it was evening time and it rained in Bhutan. I was watching the rain in Bhutan. We, are, we were accommodated on the upper loft of our resort. There was a bay window through which I could watch nature soaked in rain. That was a time when I lost a friend of mine in Kerala. The news came as a sad news. So the poem carries all those feelings. After the rain, after the rain, part of pain, its swelling poured out. Clouds cleared up. Nature at ease, accepting things in peace. Paddy fields, carved level grounds, between mounds stretch, soaked in rain. Two, three farmers sowing something while stray dogs watch. Bhutan, how tardy your space, even with work on soil. No haste, no vibe to get things done to finish off on time. The sellers in shops watching you, keeping on smiling, not that keen on selling. No hurry anywhere in restaurants or restrooms. The mammoth mountains wall you up, freezing time and mines. Even the fluttering sparrows perch on the birds, so silent. Yes, that was that Bhutan experience. And gathering all this experience, I was flying back. My return. And while flying through the air, 
in mind sight every such picture again flitted across this is that call return flying back home over the white clouds with old melodies plugged on ears sights sounds faces voices flash back and forth on my screen eyes grew grow moist bhutan your pristine innocence strikes your raw valleys mounds story lulled monuments clanging chants circumventing tapestry temples monks saffron clad with shaven heads pagodas forts in silent communion with skies above time standing still bhutan your waters so pure transparent cypress trees nod in assent to the whisper of the wind while clean pebble laid pebble laid river banks stretch out so serene faces loom so large the innocent young shivering the guide with a thousand tales to tell holding you when you slip guiding your climb karma the driver half deaf serious it courteous assuring in out my life mate like shadow source of strength traversing together through stones and thorns the loving ones are far longing to hear updates of the day the sorrow that lingers of a loss irretrievable god how can i stop the tears that flow the feel the flux enveloping life here i bow accepting with grace all that flow thank you asian literary society for giving me a chance to share my bhutan experience